A reading from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 21. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said the same, and he answered, I am going, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, The first. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness and you did not believe him, but the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. When a man and a woman marry, they exchange yes on two occasions, usually. The first one is likely to be private, when one party asks, Will you marry me? Then the second one comes at the wedding ceremony. This yes would be public, official, and sacramental. Without both parties' explicit consent, the marriage cannot be ratified. This yes presents the will of both parties to carry out the marital responsibilities and obligations of exclusive lifelong faithfulness, mutual assistance, and procreation and education of future children. These marriage responsibilities and obligations are universally accepted and shared. However, in many modern countries, at least one in three couples ends up with separation or divorce. In Canada, the divorce rate is about 38%. But unfortunately, this COVID-19 pandemic seems to drive more couples to consider divorce, according to recent news reports. After those serious consents of yes, why do couples break up their marriages? There can be thousands of reasons for separation and divorce, but commonly, it is because they are deeply disappointed at their spouses. As couples do not live that yes at the wedding in the marital relationships, they feel deceived by that yes. When couples see no longer any hope for that yes to be fulfilled, they find no reason to stay together. In today's Gospel, one son first refused his father's calling but later did what his father asked, while the other son quickly responded with yes, but eventually did not do his father's will. Jesus admonishes Israel and its leaders who answered and promised to God with yes, but have not been faithful to God and to his commandments. When God led Israel out of Egypt, through Moses, God established a covenant with Israel people's yes. However, throughout history, Israel kept failing the covenant with the Lord. Now, those outcasts, the prostitutes and the tax collectors, enter the kingdom of God first because they repent their sins and live according to the warning of John the Baptist. At baptism, we or our parents on behalf of us answered yes, promising our faithfulness to the Lord. 
and we renew this yes every time we dip our fingers in the holy water, and every Easter we renew our baptismal promises and profess our faith. But what matters more is whether we live this yes every day. In Canada, the average length of marriages is about 14 years. Couples do not give up marriages overnight. Rather than by one big event, the piling up of daily disappointments and frustrations lead to most divorces. Although it takes over 10 years on average, the success of marriage seems to depend on every day, not on one yes at the wedding. Becoming a good Christian and thereby entering heaven likewise is not accomplished by one yes at baptism. Every day is a challenge to do the will of the Lord. Saying one yes can be romantic, but doing yes every day is heroic.